Hey, yo, what is going on with it once again? Bros, women, bronies, and pegs. This is the one, Neil, and of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 NK Criticism Guy 2009. You guys know the arts and intro, and I need people want to, <clears throat> excuse me, check out freedomnetwork.com or troublenetworkstudios.net. If any people want a professional channel banner design for you, and, um, possibly get your name out there and et cetera, et cetera. Definitely check those websites out. I'll put the link in their official YouTube page down below. And not to mention our official website, unless you want to Google it yourself, that's totally, completely fine. And without further ado, let's begin. And this one has been on my mind for about two good months. The whole month of December, and then January, almost at the end of the month. And, oh my god, I've been having urges like hell to try to get this under, like, um, what's it called? Try to get this, like, um, cartoon theory up. And I've been looking all over the internet for some, too. I'm not really sure if this is a um, theory or not. This might just be super fan made. I highly doubt if it's real. This was from Friday, April 1st of 2011. So this was a while back. So Pepper Ann. Oh my god, that whole song. I don't even think I want to sing it. But you know what? I remember it was Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann. She said something, 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 something. Yeah. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann. That's too cool for seventh grade. No, it was cooler than Pepper Ann. I forgot I was like 7, 8 years old when this came out in the mid-late 90s. And I don't know what this was. This has nothing to do with the theory. I feel like it was a fusion. Our predecessor right before Codename Kids Next Door and Doug came out. It felt like a fusion between both of that type of fluid animation. And in my own personal opinion. So yeah, this is what it says. And remember, this is solely and strictly a theory. This actually came from like, um... It's called BriannaPillaFarflas.com. I'm not even going to call it. I think it's called Brianna though. Um, this was from 2011. Disney's and psychology. Psychologically. No, Disney and psychology. Pepper Ann and Little Hounds. Here's something I meant to write down before I forgot these two shows existed. Beware. I reference to sexuality. <laughs> Disney produced both Pepper Ann and The Weekenders. Two shows. I remember The Weekenders too. I don't know if there's any theories for that. There was another one. I'm not sure if it was for As Told by Ginger. If any people remember that. You're old as hell, like me, in their mid late twenties. I don't know, even before that. Okay, yeah, the Weekenders with the two shows about a zany twelve-year-old that was a viciously popular and was sorely missed. One thing that struck me years ago is that Disney represented both sides of the psychologic psychology, fear, development, war at different times. The Little Hans study and the Little Albert study has been at war since people started talking about how that things make them feel i know what you're thinking disney and imparity impossible perhaps not for all those who haven't taken into psychic and no psyche and showed up for the exams about the little albert experiment showing evidence of fear as a product of classical conditioning with the con conduct of john conducted of john b watson and his genius bimbo <laughs> mistress Rosaline Rayner. The study involved a little boy named Albert being tortured with relentless noise as he played with a rat, causing him to be afraid of rats and other rat-like things until the experiment was reversed with conditioning. It was named Little Albert to poke fun of the Little Hans at the Little Hans case, which was, despite to have very little, and I have no how to even idea how to say that. I think it's empirical, empirical value that is fascinating nonetheless anyways it's crazy but in an episode everyone discovers that tino's terrible fear of clowns when a clown was convention come to convention comes to the bahia bay and through the series of flashbacks it's determined that he develops a fear of clown by viciously being kissed by a clown and is on his childhood shazam one of behavior one of behavioral psychology on to the Little Hans, the famous Fred Freud case, or Fred case, with a young boy was chronic. With a young boy develops a chronic fear of horses. Shortly after being told that he wasn't allowed to masturbate, ha! Anyways, it turns out that the horses is a representation of his own father, who truly fears nothing. But both the horse and his father have large penises, and Hans wouldn't be able to impregnate his mother to whom he secretly loved. Infinite sexuality until his penis was larger. 
Um, that is science. By the way, this isn't me saying this. I'm actually reading it for the official website there. Um, all right. Now that was science. Anyways, there was a lot of factors at play, but basically Fred was able to dispel the fear by helping him verbalize what truly his fear was by and by telling him that there were where babies come from. Ha ha ha. Can you believe that Disney supports this theory? All of a sudden I love Disney. Anyways, Pepper Ann uses the Fridulian theory of fear of fear development with Nikki. I know that she is really old and I specific I specify that she was the blonde one. Reveals that she is uber afraid of swans. It turns out that her fear of the swan was transferred for her fear of mega perfect sister awesome. So in spite so in the spirit of science I'll make my final deduction. Pepper Ann Weekenders, therefore little Hans, little Albert. Thoughts? A little taste of little Hans. If anyone wants to borrow my little Hans, the rat rat man case study I've always have happily to creep people out with infinite sexuality. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, my overall thoughts, views, and opinions on that. I honestly don't care if that was a theory or not. That was really, really interesting and funny as hell. Sorry for the younger views I had to hear that. But if you did, you know, hey, psh, is what it is. And um, if you were a 90s kid like me, hopefully I didn't destroy and detriment the crap out of your childhood. Because this didn't really destroy my childhood in the slightest. Because my childhood was in the past. I was uh, seven, eight years old once came out a while back. So about 1997, 98, 99. I thought it was in the early 2000s when it came out. But you know what? It was still a really awesome, badass, amazing show. I'm just going to talk about the show in general. I think it's just about her talking in the mirror most of the time. And whenever she has self-absorbent issues and really, really, she's really too scared to confront and face her fears and her problems. Her little teenage, middle school, preteen like issues that she has to go through. She always talks in her mirror, which is a more cooler, alternate self of... Pepper Ann's like in visual mint. That's what it is. Like she visualizes being really awesome just like that right there. That's a big example right there. Other than that, um, I remember her friend Mila, he, he was he, he I don't know what it was, he reminded me of the dude from Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> that dude right there, uh, the one the guys always smoke weed and marijuana all the time, you know, ironically enough, because that's why I always say my outros. And her little friend that was a girl, I wasn't really too crazy about her. I liked her crazy little psychological friend, the one that was always super happy and acting like a five-year-old, and I think she was like 13 or 14. And you've already seen her already, the one that has the blonde hair and two pigtails. She was actually my second favorite character. I don't know what the hell was going on with her. I don't know if she had, like, daddy issues or parent parental issues. I have no clue, but <laughs> she was always uppity and jumpity and all that, you know? She was always super hyper of everything. That one right there. This one. Wait, hold on. Let me go back. Hold on. Give me a quick second. Alright, now it's not working. Give me a quick freaking second. No, 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 no. Sorry, I had to change the battery really quick. Back. Back. Hold on. Little mistake in error there, but yeah, I don't know what it was, but she always had these weird style of clothes and all that. Look at that. <laughs> this one right here, that little choo choo train hat. She was my second favorite. I forgot what her name was. I think it was Brenda or like Bethany or something like that. I don't know. Some little blonde white girl name, whatever. <laughs> of course, back then when I was little, you know, I didn't look at race and this shit like I do nowadays, unfortunately. But, you know, that's more of my criticism guy 2019 if you want to know more about that. But yeah, other than that, I still had great storyline. I love the like the fluency that had a background of characters, the, the really weird, weird ass, insane like characters that were really cool. I liked her little scenarios of what she went through because I used to go through a few of those things, not a lot, but a few. I could relate to her with. She was like the older sister I would have loved to have, man. Seriously, she was an awesome badass chick. Anyways, other than that, and she was even already a gamer girl before that even became a thing. We're talking like 16 years ago, a long ass time ago, or actually maybe a little bit longer than that, 17, 18, 19 years, I don't know. Overall, um, especially the people around my age in the mid late 20s, because I'm about to be 26 tomorrow. <laughs> so other than that, um, like I always do say, people, peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegasus. We'll see you when I see you guys every day, every night, wherever out on the world. 
Don't drink smoke weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective. All that good stuff. And uh, brand new videos on this video almost every, on this channel almost every single day. Peace out, ladies. Goodbye. I will see you guys next time. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Look out for future content. Um, take it easy. Stay safe, everyone. See you around, and I'm out of here. Take care and goodbye. And uh, yeah, like one last thing, I'm still gonna be putting up a um, future TCG uh, video where I actually get an EX. So you'll see it uh, tomorrow. All right. I'm out of here and see you soon. See you. Deuces.